Chase Tree and Tractor Service with 25 years of experience in tree removal. Serving the mid coast of Maine, licensed and insured Maine arborist. Whether it's a pesky blowdown or a hard to get tree that needs removal. When you need an experienced professional, Jake Chase is the man for the job. Call 207 242 8961 or email him at chase tree and tractor service jc at gmail.com. LCTV is your nonprofit community media station. Please donate at lctv.org to keep us strong. Thank you. I'm Larry Seidlinger. He is the man of the middle, Bobby. Where we got Dinah Day behind the camera. We got TV Toby on the floor. Day after the day cha after the chamber annual meeting, Larry. Mm -hmm. What a, it was a great time. I think it was the best one. I've been to. Thank you. I've been to a thirty-two of them. Of them. <laughs> so, <laughs> a lot of them. Yeah. So it really was. It was, uh, it was a lot of work. You know, the Lisa Hagen down the chamber. She did a great job organizing it. Janie Gravel and the rest of the team. Warren and yeah. Beth. Fantastic food. Oh, at the contented, contented soul was. So top notch. Yeah, you know the the food came, it came out on time, came yeah. out warm, and everybody had plenty to eat. And and uh, Nat Housey played a little music that was good. Yeah, uh, my team here, our team here at LCTV, they just did a great job. Yeah, that that threw it out of the park. That did. That TV yeah. really makes a big yeah, difference. Yeah, ninety two inch TV, folks. They had, and so if there was any vision problems it cleared it up <laughs> it sure did you could see the whole ceremony what was going on and so it was it was I'm glad it's over with Bobby yeah you know that we still get a little bit of a little bit of uh, fundraising fundraising to do you know uh, I don't know if anybody knows this or not but the chamber has been awarded uh, been offered a 50,000 matching donation so mm -hmm. every dollar up to 50,000 we raise they match and we got about an eighty thousand dollar nut to yeah to retire yep. the debt so yeah yeah, it's pretty exciting to build four hundred and fifty thousand dollar building and only owe eighty grand on it. Right, it's uh, pretty cool. What do we got? First Congregational Church, which casts it. That's 250th anniversary. That's an old church, my yeah. friend. I wonder if it's the original steeple. I wonder if the <coughs> steeple's ever been replaced on that. But oh, I'm sure. Nice photo of a lot of pastors that we know, people that live here locally. Um, so, yeah, it's... Uh, Bobby uh, Eyes was ordained over there. I didn't yeah, realize that. Yeah. Susie Craig, she lives up in Jefferson. Uh, you know, David Myers. He lives down in, uh, I think he lives down in Walpole. No, no, David lives on Pemmican Pond. Oh, right? yeah, right. Yeah, he's That's next right. To my dad's That's cottage. right. Yeah. And uh, I think the thing that makes me happy is that the, um, the, there's a peer recovery center that's going into Newcastle up on Hall Street, that little building on to the left side of that development there. And uh, the gentleman, Brian Townsend, as we reported last week, he was in Wiscasset, yep. and a lot of not in my backyard folks were in the crowd, and he, he pulled out. He said, I don't want to yep. get people upset, so he's pulled out, and he... Um, he uh, has moved to Newcastle. He's got a lease on that building there. And it's basically, uh, you know, it's a place where somebody's having problems with drug or alcohol. They can go here and sit down and be directed into to go. some type of a recovery center. You know, like Jason Wallach, you know, I t I'm pretty close to him. I talked to him, you know, and he said, Bobby, I, I go to somebody's house and I pick up somebody for drug addiction. I put him in the car. I really have no place to take him. You know, really. There's no direction. So if he hasn't broken any law, huh. outside of taking drugs, I mean, drugs are illegal, yeah. but I mean, if, he, if he's under the influence, he's already there. Right. So, I mean, you take him to jail, and that's really yeah, not the And the days of arresting a drug addict are over. Yeah. Those are over. So they're not going to so, prosecute him. So, so anyway, yeah. this this is a, you know, this is a big deal. Um, I, Karen Batchelor, what was her award last night? Business? She, you know, she was individual uh, community service Yeah, award. for her work with Stepping Stones, and I can, went over to her 
congratulate her. And she said to me, I told her about this thing, and she said, yeah, I heard about this. And she said, if there's anything we can do, you know, she said, I can outfit that whole place for them, you know. So, you know, it's hopefully it's a start. It's a start. I mean, my dream is to have a recovery center, but... Um, I don't know. That's one step at a time. One step at a time. As one has done some fundraising and building something just recently, it's a yeah. lot of. It's a big undertaking. <clears throat> so the. Uh, I, I really like the top of the paper here. Did you read this? You only pass through li this life once, and you don't come back for an encore. Yeah. Who said it? <laughs> Elvis Presley. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, my, my, I don't even know who said this, but my little slogan is: "This is an address rehearsal." No, no, no. <laughs> well, mine were in the. Four Fourth quarter, and the clock's ticking. There's no yeah. timeouts left. On yeah, it, so, so Damon Scott has nursing facility, the 102 bed nursing facility, Clipper Ship Landing. Um, it's they got uh, another year to go, huh? Yeah, they they're gonna let them one more year if they got a year, and then they have to come back to the drawing board. But anyway, the uh, then that solar array that you and I talked about a yeah, little yeah. while ago, that's yeah. up right on Route One, right just before the Novaboro Town. Yeah, line. It's just diagonal across from Reunion and, Station. Uh, hopefully, they stick that baby up in the woods. Jeez, I hope so. Yeah, so, boy. I, I have a, that, that bugs me a little bit anyway, these solar panels. I'm not against solar electricity or anything like that, but they get tax, the tax exempt, mm -hmm. property tax exempt. Yep. Well, what's the biggest problem we have, one of the bigger problems we have in the state is property taxes, yeah. you know, the burden of property yep. taxes. And you're giving these people a, a free pass on, they got 45 acres of land. Yeah. So what's 45 year real estate? Yeah. It's yeah. worth at least $1,000 yeah. an acre. Yeah, right. You know, $500 an acre, so it's $25,000 yeah. or $30,000. I'd say $1,000 an acre. So it's 45000 the mill rate in Damascot is 16%. Mm. So, you know, that's eight, almost eight grand in tax, tax mm. money. Yeah. You know, it's uh, it's crazy. It's crazy, it's, but I don't know. It's well, how about this Jesse Dowling? Um, well, she went to, went to Morocco, was it? That yeah, was well, it's yeah. Uh, the Mongol Derby. So she, it's a. Uh, it's a big, long race. It's like, I don't know how many miles. 621-mile yeah. Mongol Derby. It's, it's the longest horse race. race in the world. Yeah, it's 10 days. She's finished 13th, and uh, it's a 621-mile Mongol Derby. And so, anyway, she basically, in the article here, she basically said, you know, I'm 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 sick of milking goats. I'm sick of making cheese. You know, actually, the fuzzy utter creamery. We actually years ago we went there on a was up shoot and uh, we we filmed her when they first started. And uh, their cheese is delicious, by the way. So anyway, that's a good thing for her. You know, she got to do what she wanted to do. Yeah. The Hofstra's house, boy, that's uh, that a. Uh, I bet that gets torn down before it's over. Yeah, maybe you know, it's it might be a beautiful frame. You know, you get somebody like Hootie Dodge or somebody yeah. to take that frame down. Yeah. But problem anyway. is, it'll cost. You can build new for what you can tear that one down. Oh yeah, yeah. So at least they're gonna, at least they're gonna get. Don't try to sell it. Yeah. Uh, Don't try to sell it. Well, what do you know? A construction site on schedule. So Br far, Bristol, Bristol Consolidated School. I went by there. Of course, we went Last by night, there. Yeah, yeah. A lot of, a lot of equipment in there. A lot, <laughs> a lot of, of stuff, stuff going on. A lot in of there. stuff going in there. Yep. So. But they're on schedule. That's a, that's good to hear. They had a few construction change projects. Yep. Uh, Pat's the thing. So. And how about Chip? Our, our com uh, community. Housing improvement project. 20 years they've been helping people. You know, a lot of the people that they help don't know how to ask for help. So they, they're they either embarrassed or they just know, don't know what resources to use to ask for help. So Chip goes out and finds the people that or get tipped off by other residents that they need help. Yeah. So anyway, they're uh, they're doing it. You so. know, and those windows they make right there, those those storm windows with yeah. the plastic, those work. Oh, yeah. We've got them here at the studio, oh, and yeah. I put them in every year, and yeah. it makes a heck of a difference. Yep, yep. Makes so. a heck of a difference. How about Mr. Paul Lehman? Old high school classmate of mine. Yeah, really. So. Yeah, Paul and I started working together. I first met Paul as a freshman in high school. We started working at First National Grocery Store, yep. where Rennie's Underground is today. Yep. His mom was the bookkeeper. Yeah. And... Uh, 
Yep, known Paul a long time. Good guy. I mean, beside being a fire chief for 20 years, oh, he's, yeah. uh, he was a heck of a karate instructor, I can yeah. tell you that. Yeah. Well, and a cook. Yeah. And he owned a restaurant. I mean, well, he did, the, yeah. The Samoset. Yeah. I mean, you couldn't go wrong with the Samoset when in its heyday. Nope. You know? So, nope. and no one's been able to match that. You know? No one's been able to go in there. Nope. No. I don't know what's going in there down, yeah. down there now. I got no yeah, idea. They, it looks like they took they, everything out of there. Yeah. Yeah. Big controversy still in Damascot about these Egypt Road shoulder costs and parking lot plans and there's just a lot to work through right there. Well, it's material. It's supposed to be a three foot shoulder, well, it ended up being a two foot shoulder or something. But it, what people don't understand is when you when you set the machine at two feet and you put X number of gravel and you run a packer over it, you know, it's gonna the, the excess gravel's gonna squeeze somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's well, crazy. Well, those are things that people that work on these town committees don't understand. They don't understand that. Yeah. They don't understand that. Yeah. So hopefully they can get that straightened out. Because one thing we don't need in Tamascata, or any place for that matter, is the controversy like they've had Westport Island, mm -hmm. Somerville, mm -hmm. God for all that, all this mm -hmm. stuff that's going on. These people that have that have community service type people have done, mm -hmm. especially what in uh, Westport Island and, right, and Somerville, right. guys that worked for the town for years did yeah. great job. Yeah, and, and they just we don't have a Larry, we don't have a highway department. No, so we have no choice. Yeah, yeah. You need somebody to fall back on. Yeah. you got to be in good graces with these folks. Well, the other, you know, the other side of the whole thing in Damascotta here, and I'm not really trying to stick up for the Hagers or anything, but if they call them in the middle of the night with a water main break mm -hmm. they're there with yeah. 10 men and all the equipment yeah. in minutes time yeah. basically almost like an ambulance yeah. you know and uh well, I can tell you, the people on the Great Salt Bay Sanitary District, they swear by the Hager Company. I mean, they can't give enough credit to those yep. folks. Yeah. And, and that kind of work, Bobby, is not cheap. No. And it's not cheap because the equipment that they're using is extremely expensive yeah. equipment to run and maintain. Yeah. yeah. You know, when you're putting a million dollar, million and a half dollar piece of equipment on a property, on a yeah. on a job, like and two or three a, pieces of like it. You'd like to get a little money back. You gotta. You gotta. You're not going to be able to be there the next time for them. Yeah, speaking about, you know, funny, we haven't mentioned window inserts for a while, now we're talking about it like it's every yeah. day. But Lincoln Academy students, they volunteered for uh, to build window inserts. Yep. So, yep. you know, Community Cares Day, it was called. And the bell tower up at Lincoln Academy, they're going to take that down. Yeah, what, any reason? Well, the structure underneath it is starting to go. Uh, what, it what? needs to come off, and there's a whole backstory to that, too, What's but no? we'll get into that. Well, probably have to, you have to take that whole that whole block off the roof probably. Well what they're going to do is pick that tower off that frame there and, yep. and then rebuild the frame, cap it over for the winter. Yep. But uh, I wonder if they... That, that's not cheap either. you no. got to have a crane guy to hook that up and and the uh, riggers what? and whatnot. Boom. Boy, you don't know. You don't know what's going to happen. You no. put straps on that thing and lift oh, yeah. it. Boy, you don't know. Yep. So the... Uh, how about the uh, that building there, Ralph Daring's building over there in West Gasset? It's the Walnut uh, Building, the been, bricks. <laughs> it's been uh, it's been the color blue for about six months now. They say it's going to be uh, completed after January first. It's, uh, it's two years. It's been two two yeah. years. Yeah. It, it went April um, two two and a half years. April third, yeah. two thousand twenty-one. Mm. Well, I'm pretty sure we're in September two thousand twenty-three. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. two and a half years. It's been. I went by there that day that happened. It was like the Fire department was all there. Yeah. I was like, what the heck is going on here? Yeah. Big storm. Yeah. <clears throat> Boy, Max is missing. 15-year-old Jack Russell. Yeah. He's he's deaf and a little bit blind. So anyway. he, was, he was last seen in Edgecombe headed towards Damascus. I don't know if that's Nick Buck's dog or not. No. I know Nick Buck's got a Jack Russell Terrier, and I think he's elderly. So anyway, well, I'm talking about Walderboro. Maine Noir Films. It's uh this is man Lucas. Yeah, so they're, they're uh the other thing's going on in Walderboro, the Rennie's lady, she's uh she's written a play and it's all about I'm going. Uh, it's uh, sa I think it's this Saturday night. Yeah. It's on uh, uh uh, talking Town Talk show, uh, yeah. that I had a chance to sit down with Camo Sanders, yeah. Susan Harder from the chamber, yeah. uh, Peter Henderson, I think, yeah. is, and I can't remember the other woman's name, The act, who are two actors that are in it. Yeah. Uh, it was a great, great fun time for me to interview these yeah. people over on the Waldo stage. And, and so, yeah, I'm going to go that night and see yeah. Yeah. if we can get tickets for yeah. it. Yeah. 
Right. Yeah. And I want to also, speaking of Waldenboro, is uh, this Friday night, tomorrow night, we have uh, the 250th anniversary show that uh, we filmed here. The little documentary that we mm -hmm. filmed here was our first attempt at a, any kind of a documentary. So that's at 6 o'clock. It's free. Mm -hmm. uh, donation. They're asking donation because part of the Waldenboro Historical Society yeah. capital campaign. And uh so, yeah, you know, and I was talking with a gal from the flower shop last night about Waldemar, and she said there's a little different vibe. The theater district is yeah. alive. The shows, the restaurants I, are staying open. I tell you, I've been saying it. A theater can change the whole we'll Look what it did in Damascus. What? I know. You know, right? you know 15 the, years ago and 20 years ago yeah, in Damascus. Waldemar is on the move. Yeah. And, uh, nice vibe. So, anyway. About this article on our buddy Bruce Soul, who, who was down in the, he was <laughs> can't in, give it up. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, it looks like he's. It looks like he's got a nicer shop than he had. He in the does. Park. It so, does. Anyway, the. Uh, so I always remember Bruce. And if you look in this picture and you look above, there's a clock, and that clock is backwards. <laughs> so when you look in the mirror, you see the right time. Yeah, I never. I, it was the first time I ever saw that. I said, "The guy's a genius." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. <clears throat> well, uh, new J J Jefferson Village School principal. He's settling in. There's uh, Coastal Maine Botanical Gardens. They're going to have a PFAS for them. And uh, I saw on the news this morning, they're funding a gal from uh, UMaine, I believe. They're giving a $150,000 grant saw that. To, study uh, that. to study PFAS, how to get rid of PFAS. Yep. And there should be, a, I mean, that, you would think there would be a treatment at the water spigot, you know, to they treat everything else at the water spigot these days. So Lincoln Academy is going to have a town hall meeting 8 p.m. Wednesday, September 20th, and uh, about the school's accreditation process. Whitefield taxes and the mill rate dropped a little bit. Yep. And how about this? You still got time for buy? I bought my tickets. Erica Berman, she brought up a <laughs> bunch of tickets. And Veggie to Table, you got to give them a little congratulation. Yep. They won. Well, now, what was their award? Um, they uh, were, uh, I don't know, business. Community Service. Community was Service that Award. Community Service? I can't remember. And, uh, so, anyway, I think it was Community Service. There's, I can't a, uh, there's a trip to a week in Paris at Montmartre, which is a section of Paris, which is really cool. And uh, maybe somebody who's involved in that Pinkham Pond, um, Pinkham <laughs> Pond uh, Bruja might win the. Take a trip and take, take a little a time trip off. Take a to Paris huh? and uh, calm down a little bit, <laughs> you know? Boy, what a brouhaha they got going up there. You know, folks, and I'm not trying to promote the wall, wall, the all in the town meetings, but boy, they're good TV at times if you want some controversy. Yeah. <laughs> no rehearsals involved. No, no rehearsals in that deal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Glenn Chadbone had a nice picture there for the 9 11. Never forget. Very oh. touching. Don't forget, we got a new uh, new village Jefferson Village School principal, Janet Damar Delmar. She's settling in up there. Um, Where did that other principal go? Where, where, I don't know. I don't know. These yeah. principals jump around. Wiscasi just lost one a week or so yeah. ago. And Boy, can you imagine there was a head-on collision on Route One, right by Foster's Antiques, and no one got hurt. Yep. Airbags. Minor injuries. Well, minor injuries come from airbag coming at you for 100 miles an hour. Yeah, right. That's, you know, from, from a foot and a half away. What do you get? A, when an airbag, you ever had an airbag hit you? Nope. Not me either. No. Nope. Maybe you get a bloody lip. No, but my cousin, had, he hit a curb down the Merritt Parkway with his little sob one time, and when he hit the curb, the airbag went off, and he lost control and flipped his car. <laughs> <laughs> That's been 25 years ago, about 20 years ago. So I'm sure he buys a car now that lets you <laughs> shut off the airbag. I guess. Francis uh, Perkins Homestead, they're going to be op have an open out September 17th. God, it looks great over there. Yeah. Really, really does. Yeah. He's going to put, put a lot of money yeah. in there. Yeah. So anyway, folks, whoever's going to win that week in Paris, if you want to go over to French Conversation Group, they're welcoming newcomers over there. That's over at the Edgecombe Community. Church and teach you how to speak French so they can go to, over to Paris and have fun. 
Okay, so we got a setback violation over there in Westport Island. They got a consent agreement. Seems like they always cave in. Come, you know? come to some kind of an agreement. Yeah. Uh, what do we got on the inside? Well, uh, you got Seacoast Community Orchestra. They're going to play. Yep. Rehearsals begin the 19th of September. Yep. It's coming and, right uh, out. You going to join, Bobby? No. No? No. I think I'm going to pass on that one, no. too. Well, they could, might need a guitar player. Man, they want, if they want a guitar player, they don't want me. I'm yeah. a hack. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Marilyn Bean's uh, active as usual. I wonder uh, if she got her TV back. It sounds like she did. She's watching many, many shows. She, Let me uh, guess. Dear readers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and for once, Bobby, I don't think I knew anybody on the obituary page, which really? is a good thing for me, I guess. Yeah. 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 Senator hmm. Collins, $450,000 for Alzheimer's. I guess the uh, DePonte qu uh, string quartet last Sunday at the Walpole Meeting House was sold out. Oh, and was it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sherry Vore, the Scotland Sherry Vore is going to be at the Opera House on the 23rd. That's a week from Saturday. So they're saying here, it's always somebody, you know, there's always got to make some money somewhere. They're saying that Maine's going to require a boating safety course. So I guess if, uh, if you fall into a certain category, you're going to have to take a safety course to... Well, you got to be 12 years old, was it? Yeah. What does it say? I need to well, see that. Yeah, 12 years of age or older. <laughs> Got to take a course. Get some sports action. Uh, Madomic uh, girls soccer. They uh, they beat Nokomis and they beat Gardner. And, uh, of course, the Lincoln Academy girls, they run, their, their cross-country team is unsurpassed. They're, uh, they won, uh, they won a meet out in Waterville, at Waterville, and, uh... Well, I've seen a great game. We, we broadcast the, uh, live stream, the Madomic nokomis game last week. Yeah. A 75 touchdown run, 75 yard touchdown run, about 35... From scrimmage? From scrimmage, yeah. yeah. And about a 35 yard pass play for a touchdown. Gabe Lash made a great catch on it, a spin move, and, and, the, and they went up 32 nothing. It was, uh... It was a heck of a ball game. Boy, I think they, they, could, have, they could have a shot at the state. Well, this is what my prediction, the way this is going to boil down, it's going to come down. I don't know the the wildcat here is Foxcroft Academy, who is usually pretty good in yeah. football. But if Madonna can get by Foxcroft and Ocean Guy side gets by Foxcroft, the last game of the season could be two unbeaten teams mm -hmm. right here on the midcoast, and they play at Oceanside. Really? October 20th. So it, wow. could be, it could be quite a ball game. And unfortunately, Oceanside people won't let us come over and film over there. Oh, uh, these yeah. schools, crazy, whatever. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that, how they're gonna, how people are gonna see that. I'm, I'm hoping I can find some way that they're gonna do it and like it. Maybe, um, maybe Dinah Dave could smuggle in a <laughs> camera and uh, you know, you think? be incognito with a beard and a wig. They put one of those hats on with the camera in the hat, yeah. and you can just watch yeah. it go back and forth. That's not against the law. I don't think so. No? <laughs> Yeah. And I don't think people look any more funnier at him than they ever do, do you? Nah. Nah. I don't think so. Either. Not at all. Now, a lot going on at the racetrack no. over there. Reed Reno, fourth generation, got his first win. Cool beans. Hmm. Bremen Library's got a uh, author, Bill Patella. He's going to talk about his book, The Eleventh Layer, Origins of Human Evolution. I don't know. I might skip that one. Um, Lincoln County student. <laughs> you think you might skip it? Academic. I don't. I don't want to know how I evolved. <laughs> I just want to know how I am now. I don't want to know how I was. Well, I think these people out there would like to answer have the answers to both those questions. Yeah. All right. Well, Ryan Pasch was casted. Danny McElroy, Booth Bay, Matthew Bandick, and Jefferson. Kami Enrich uh, was Cassett, Kerry McArdle was Cassett, all earned the academic honor at 
It's only in New Hampshire University. New Hampshire University. Yeah. And I think this is the last week of racing it was casted that starts at 5 o'clock. I think they start at 4 o'clock. Oh, yeah. For the next month. Yeah, how long? They go into November? October, first weekend in October. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Keller Williams, you've been in the new office down Yeah, you? beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. They've got a nice space there. And, uh, yeah. Well, they got, how many agents they said they had? They had 18 agents. You said they got a lot. It's like, yeah. How can they wait? There's, so, there's no, everybody's screaming there's no inventory. Yeah. How can they? I don't know. I don't They're know. all trying to find inventory, but. I guess. They got to create it. Yeah. Apple Fest, our Noble Borough That's Central That's always a good School, time, huh? Yeah, hosts the Apple Fest up there, and it's going to be September 30th. And uh, they got music. You can buy all kinds of pies. I mean, they got great pies. I got a couple of ladies in Nobro, my favorite bakers. I always go in there and ask who made, you know, yeah. who made. I'm not going to divulge who they are. I was just going to say, who no, are they? So no, I can go up. And, no, absolutely not. I, well, I'm going to go up and say, who Bobby Weir is? Yeah. See, who's no, he always come in uh, and ask? Uh, uh, this one is secrecy. <laughs> um, like Larry said, the next Waldo Theater is going to be the next Chamber Chat guest. You already taped that, right? I Larry? did. Yep. And, yep. uh, Anyway, you get to see the uh, Martins lady. No, no, not this one. This one here uh, is for the chamber. Oh, it's uh, it's for the 250th. Oh, yeah, okay. For the 250th. Yep. Now, I think it's next, maybe next week we do the... Yep. Camden yeah. National hired a new gentleman by the name of Matthew Witten, and uh, he's going to be he's going to be present in Camden National. And... Uh, Boy, nice, nice full-page article here from Adamic Valley. Yeah, like, and I think the what? Saturday, this I got an idea. Saturday's homecoming is going to get washed out with the storm. Yeah, it doesn't look good. Yeah, it's supposed doesn't. to have soccer games right in the middle of the day, and that's really supposed to be the worst. Doesn't look good. No. Friends of Hog Island, they got a new exec Who's executive director over there. Wow, Dina Caven. Yeah, and the daughter Evie on their yeah. way to Hog Island. Yeah, that's so. so sad. She'd lost a son to cancer. Was was like three yeah. or four years yeah, old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too bad, hmm. Bobby. We've just about wrapped it gone through this paper pretty quick yeah, I first national when you're having fun time goes flat well you know yeah. first national they're always supporting the community they support jefferson area community food pantry had a nice chat with tony mckim last night president yep. first yeah yeah job doing a good job yeah tony, yeah. tony lives he lives up in trenton or something he yeah 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 yeah, his guy came up dirt poor yeah. uh, in Eastport, and, you know, food pantries was big in his life. Right. And youth sports, you know, Little League and stuff like that. Right. Bobby, we got to say goodbye to these folks. It's, yeah. uh, you know, we've <clears throat> rattled off another one. We got big plans for this weekend? No. Got a, got, tomorrow's the <coughs> day to tie things down, folks. It is. It, yep. So I'll be moving uh, all the chairs off my dock that blow into the yep. water. Want to announce our classic uh, concert series this winter. We got October 29th, Malcolm Down, Johnny Cash, December 17th, Elton John at the Lincoln, both those at the Lincoln Theater. And then we got the Beatles the last Sunday in January. And then we've got Fleetwood Mac the last Sunday in February. Mm -hmm. And they all start at 2 o'clock in the afternoon and they all support your public access TV station. Tickets are on sale at Main Street Grocery or lctv.org. And we ask you, and there's a package. Uh, if you buy all four, you can save yourself 20 bucks. So thirty dollars a ticket. But if you buy four, you can buy it for hundred bucks. Time's up. We gotta say goodbye. Bobby Weir, the mayor of the mills. I'm Larry Seidling, a TV Toby. He's over here. Toby, you wanna say goodbye? We got D Dinah Dave behind the camera. There he is, TV Toby. Come on up and say goodbye, buddy. We'll see you next week, folks. Chase Tree and Tractor Service with 25 years of experience in tree removal. Serving the mid-coast of Maine, licensed and insured Maine arborist. Whether it's a pesky blowdown or a hard-to-get tree that needs removal. When you need an experienced professional, Jake Chase is the man for the job. Call 207-242-8961 or email him at chasetreeattractorservice.jc at gmail.com. LCTV is your nonprofit community media station. Please donate at lctv.org to keep us strong. Thank you.